Hello. Looks like we have no viewers right now. I'm going to tweet this thing out. Hopefully, that'll get some more people. Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to get started. Even though I don't know if I have any viewers or not, thanks Google Hangouts. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, hey, we have some viewers now. Great. Um, this is a little embarrassing because uh, you're gonna you're gonna see the process where I'm like, what 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 the hell's happening here. And I'm kind of talking into a void with no one talking back to me. You can chat with me on Twitter or I don't know if anybody's in a group chat or what have you, but you can but you can maybe try and comment there too. I'll try and turn on this. Yeah. Twitter's probably the best way to get in touch with me while I'm doing this. Um, anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen share here. I'm just going to share my whole display here, which could be a nightmare. Actually, I'm just going to share my terminal for now. Um, okay, so now you should see my terminal here. We have my projects folder, um, and I got to figure out what I want to do. Um, I think what I'm going to try and do is something involving language. Uh, for that, I guess I'm going to use uh, Rita JS. Um, I'm actually going to switch back to uh, to to show you my browser and everything too. I'll just I'll just show the whole display. I'm going to play with fire here. Um, okay, we got a little bit of recursive goodness there. Um, Okay, so this is Rita. Uh, Rita is what I used for Sorting Bot. Uh, if you're familiar with that project, it's the Twitter bot that's the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Um, and sometimes when I'm bored and don't know what I'm going to do, I just sort of scroll through a nice big library like Rita and try and find something that I've never played with before that I get to play with. Um, so uh, that's what I'm going to do here. Rita is, uh, as it calls itself a software toolkit for generative literature. Um, you might be familiar with NLTK or similar natural language uh, tools. Um, most natural language tools are made for, they're basically made by academic computational linguists to do linguistic analysis, but they're not made for generation. Uh, Rita is actually built for generative literature, uh, which is really important because that's what we're doing here. So. Um, let's see what we have here. So uh, get part of speech is something that I used a lot uh, for sorting bot. It, it, you give it a, a word and it tells you it's part of speech. Um, it can do uh, uh, stemming and things like that. Uh, it can do, it can get the past participle of something. It can conjugate stuff. Uh, I've never actually used conjugation. Conjugation seems interesting. Uh, so we do, uh, let's see how this would work. It's read.conjugate verb and then arguments. So this, the, the verb is the stem, and the arguments are relevant options. So tense, number, person. Ah, okay. Well, that seems boring and complicated. I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, we have uh, get syllables and get stresses, which I also used in, I used get stresses in, um, in sorting bot. And what this does is it tells you the stress of a word. So if a word's like Slytherin, That'll tell you it's one zero one because it's slitherin. Ba ba ba. Um, get syllables uh, does this weird phonetic syllable thing that I prefer not to use, so uh, so I don't use it. Um, we can tell if something's a question. We can tell if something is. Uh, we can get a random word. Um, and so on. Okay. Oh, here's here's read a dot stem. Maybe we could use dot stem with dot conjugate and get something interesting going on. Let's see what Twitter has to say. Uh huh. Um. So this one will stem, and let's look at this. There's a comparison here. Oh, this is so. This is like the Porter stemmer. So it'll turn stemming to stem, but funnier stays funnier. Bummer stays bummer. 
loving goes to love, computer goes to compot. I mean, stems don't have to be real English words. Uh, and then you can see this one turns funnier into funny, right, and bummer into bum. So we've got the porter stemmer and the Lancaster stemmer. I, I'm most familiar with the porter stemmer here. I don't even know if we're going to use this or not. Um, but this is usually how I get uh, things going when I'm looking at stuff. Tokenizing seems fun. Uh, tokenizing, oh, this tokenizes a string into just regular words. So it'll like break out a string into um, little these little pieces, which it doesn't seem terribly useful for what I want to, well, I don't know what I want to do, but it doesn't seem terribly useful, interesting on its own. Um, sometimes what I'll do with, the, with something like this is I'll just start spewing um, random noise into it. So maybe we'll just do that. Let's get the, um, let's get the stemmer. Uh, let's, let's set this up then. So we're going to set up a little project with Rita.js and all that. So um, I have a, um, I'm going to make a new project directory. Uh, this is going to be called who knows because who knows. Um, hopefully everyone can, I'm going I'm to make the font big so everyone can, can see. And now I'm going to knock the microphone around so you all hear wonderful noises. Um, so I'm going to do grunt init Twitter bot. Uh, this is a grunt init is a um, project scaffolding tool, uh, and I built a scaffold for it called Twitterbot, and it just asks me some questions about the project I'm going to do, and then it, it builds in a bunch of stuff that I might want. Am I going to do any screen scraping? Maybe. Am I going to make HTTP requests? Maybe. Project name? Who knows? Oh, I need... Oh, it doesn't... Okay, all right. Uh, here's the one. Who knows? Like that. And description, the best project ever. We'll keep that version. Do, do, do GitHub stuff. That's fine. Um, Wordnik API key. We're not going to use Wordnik, so I'm just going to skip that. And then Twitter consumer key, I'm just going to put you know, garbage in there right now. Um, I don't want to make any changes. Here we go. Now we have a project. Um, so, uh, we can look at this project to start with, uh, and so we'll see that it has a bunch of stuff already built in here. Uh, this is Node.js is what I'm coding in. You're, I mean, you can probably follow along if you don't know Node. If you know any programming language, it should be fine. Um, request is for making HTTP requests. Cheerio is for screen scraping. Uh, underscore just makes JavaScript, um, uh, a nice place to be. Uh, inflection, I'm not going to use at all because that is um, an older library that basically Rita does everything with inflection does and more. Um, Twit is my Twitter client, and uh, word filter is this universal world word filter that I built, and um, ent handles um, like weird HTML escape entities and Unicode and things like that. Um, so. Uh, first thing I want to do is uh, actually install all of the dependencies. And this is just the node package manager. It's going through and installing all those dependencies. My, my grunt init template created this package.json file, which contained all the dependencies in it, so I didn't have to like do any of that stuff. But we don't have Rita yet, so I'm just going to do npm install. And I always remember, I always forget what it's called. I think it's just Rita.js, or maybe it's Rita. It must, maybe it's just Rita. It's Rita. OK, npm install Rita save. And so this will save it to the package.json file and install the dependencies. Meanwhile, I'll take a look at Twitter. Hey, all right. Um, so we've got that dependency in here. We, now we have to actually include um, Rita in our header here. Uh, and to do that, I will just copy and paste what's down here. Oh, well, we'll just do Rita equals require Rita. Um, the next thing we want to do is uh, let's let's spew out some random words. Uh, so the way that this this is structured as a Twitter bot right now, I don't necessarily want it structured that way. I'm going to kill this set interval here, um, 
and I'm not going to have it run uh, tweet either. I'm just going to have it run uh, the generate function instead. And uh, up here in generate, we have uh, some commented out code. This is just code that might come in handy later if we're going to um, do some screen scraping. So I'll just leave that in there. And right now, all we're doing is we're creating a deferred object here. We're immediately resolving it and returning the promise, which has been pre-resolved, and it's just going to, I mean, it, this doesn't even need to be a deferred right now. So let's just let's just kill all of this, and let's just go console.log. Hey, I'm too uh, cool for Hello World. So, uh, hey, all right. Uh, and Rita prints out this debug information too. I have been too lazy to figure out how to get Rita to not print out that debug stuff. Um, okay, in a sense we're done here. This is basically everything that I wanted. It just says hey. But um, let's spew some random words. So how do we get random words? We'll go back to Rita here and uh, we will look at, is it uh, Rita.random perhaps? Let's, oh, nope, it's this random word function from lexicon here. Now, um, lexicon is its own thing, uh, it's its own class within Rita.js. Um, so typically what you do is you set up a new lexicon and you have to kind of initialize it and all that. Fortunately, I have my sorting hat bot here already and I'm just gonna copy some of that code. Uh, so I'm going to go back up here and put in lexicon equals new rita.ri lexicon. There we go. Now we have a lexicon to work with. And then I think I also did write. Uh, and I like to use this shorthand as well. I bind r to this rita.rita object. It just makes things easier later on. And I should add this to my template because I use rita so often now. But um, anyway, now we have a lexicon in here too. This doesn't change anything about our program, um, but now that we have a lexicon, we can do, uh, we can say lexicon dot random word, and it'll get a random word. Uh, so console.log lexicon dot random word. This should work, hopefully. Yeah, nasal, okay, that's a random word, nasal. And apologies ahead of time if uh, some really obscene term comes up on here. This is just what happens when you code with language. You're gonna get lots of, you might get a lot of obscene stuff, and then later on you put in the filters to make sure that it's not so obscene anymore. Um, so fair warning, that might happen. All right, let's get, uh, so let's just get a flavor for these random words, right? Whenever, I'm, whenever I have a random function, I wanna just spew a bunch of it and get a flavor for it. So I'm just gonna write a simple, uh, for loop here, um, we're going to do this a uh, hundred times, and that P in there does not belong. And now we're going to do this again. Okay, so now we're getting all these words, and I'm literally just watching these go by. The words aren't too long, they're not too short, like we're not getting 20 character words, we're not getting lots of really small words either, and it seems like we're getting different parts of speech as well. Forsake is a verb, uh, incorporate is a verb, misjudgments is a plural noun, etc. Um, so okay, that's that's sort of interesting. Um, now we can also ask for a random word of a particular part of speech. Um, so how do we ask for a particular part of speech? Well, this the documentation is actually not great here. Uh, I might actually file a pull request later. Um, but if we go to the part of speech tags thing here and we go to the pen tag set, this is this is how parts of speech are tagged. So let's like let's only get singular nouns, which are tagged as NN. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna say random word NN. And now we're gonna do this again. And this time we get divan, peer, grandchild, motorbike, peppermint, ardor, nominee, glitter, cobbler, etc. Um, so that's good. Um, now, nouns are kind of weird because you have abstract concepts like ardor, and then you have really com concrete uh, concepts like grandchild or peer. Um, so 
it's just worth keeping in mind that that's sort of the, the, the breadth of what we're dealing with here. We can also have very technical words like video conferencing, all one big conglomerated word. Uh, let's see. Some people are tweeting about this. Great. Okay. Oh, is today Harry's po Harry Potter's birthday? That's that's amazing. Wow. Well, uh, maybe we'll tweet some something special from Sorting Bot later. Um, <laughs> so, um, okay. So we've got we're spewing random nouns. Um, now, if we uh, if we wanted to, we could try and oh, let's do let's do verbs and let's stem them since we since we just discovered this stemming thing. So I'm going to go. All right, we know how random word works. So, uh, oh, I can even ask for a syllable count as well. That's actually really helpful too. Uh, but um, tokenize stem. Here we go. And so we're just gonna let's just let's just stem. I think it uses oh it uses Lancaster by default and Porter. Okay, Lancaster is kind of a funny one. Let's see what happens with that. So let's just stem all these words. Um, so let's go. Uh, var word equals. I'm just going to start assigning these to variables. Um, var stemmed word equals r dot. It would be r dot stem, right? Yeah, because I've aliased Rita. Uh, r dot stem word, and then we'll console dot log word and the oops stemmed word. Okay. So now we're going to do this again. And uh, recycling becomes recyc. Spontaneity becomes spont. MC becomes empk. Restroom is still restroom. Disorder is disord. Um, OK, that's kind of neat. We're stemming nouns, which is sort of unusual. Um, I bet if we changed these to verbs, it would make a little bit more, it would be a little bit more sensible uh, let's 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 take a look at those where did I put those um here we go uh, so verbs are VB here so let's do uh, we're gonna ask for verbs now we're gonna do that again and so undermine under min accrue accrue infer inf harass hara okay it's, it's interesting um, now we also had this um, we don't want tokenize here. Uh, conjugate. Um, so conjugate, you want to pass in a verb stem, and then uh, and then it'll give you some stuff. It's not terribly. It returns the conjugated verb. So let's ask for past tense um, of all of these things. Uh, so we are going to var conjugated word equals r dot conjugate uh, the stemmed word and then this this reader dot past tense is a um, it's a constant so it's just uh, it's just built in there and, and oops we want r dot past tense because I have aliased that um, conjugated word I'm gonna do this again um, it doesn't look like it's actually. Wait, this is the same thing. Conjugated word equals r dot conjugate r dot. All right. Well, let's try something other than past tense. Let's try um, first underscore person. See if that changes anything. Oh, maybe it's because. Um, we're getting the. I'm asking for the base form of the verb already, uh, so maybe what I want is to like uh, let's take the past tense and then stem it and then make it first person. Um, so that's VBD. This simply does not seem to be working. <laughs> All right. Well. Conjugate. Does anyone have anything to say about that? Not yet. I'm probably on a delay here anyway. Um, that's okay. Conjugate's not working the way that we thought it would. Um, do I need? Oh wait. It's an, oh oh. I was using the Java uh, thing. I need to pass in an object containing 
Oh, okay. I was just I was being super lazy because Rita is a Java and JavaScript um, uh, uh, library. So this is here's me showing my ignorance here. Um, okay, I'm gonna just paste that in here, and we'll leave that as args. That's fine. And so now we're gonna ask for singular third person present tense, and I'm gonna put args here. So that's an object. And now it's going to conjugate. Nope. I got to change Rita to R because I wanted to save time. So I made things harder for myself. Come on. Rita R. There we go. There we go. Conflicted, conflict, conflicts. Siphoned to siphon to siphons. Drifted, Drift to drifts, recanted, wreck to wrecks, <laughs> flopped, flops, learned, learns, intoned, in tons, eh, close enough, boasted, boasts. Um, that's pretty cool. So we did that. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, actually, it might be worth just like thinking, you know, what is this, you know, what is this? let us, what does this do aesthetically? I don't know. I like that that recanted almost turns into this um, like shorthand, this funny shorthand. Like, uh, oh, you know, like totes. Instead of totally, it becomes recanted, becomes rex. I don't know. Um, that's sort of interesting. Um, also, immediately I just want to break this. So like, let's put, let's put uh, nouns in here, right? Like what happens if we try to, to stem Nouns. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Down payment becomes down pays. Splitting becomes splits. Omelet becomes omelets. Scru oh, okay. So this is kind of cool because it's like, um, you know, uh, uh, like, what does a banana do? Well, it bananas, right? What, is, what, is, what does a velvet do? Well, it velvets. What does a commodity do? Well, clearly it commods. So, so we could do something like that, right? We could say, um, and this is just like, hey, let's just, because it's a computer here, let's just spew in some stuff that it's not, give it input that it's not supposed to otherwise get. We're basically glitching the conjugation here. Um, so uh, let's just log, um, what does a word do? Why it conjugated word. What does a plumage do? Why it plums. What does a hare do? Why it hars. What does a witchcraft do? Why it witchcrafts. An attendant does, in fact, attend. A swarm does swarm. And uh, I guess a size size. OK. Some of these are kind of um, tautologies. Uh, I guess one thing we could do, though, some of the less interesting ones are coming from uh, situations where the, um, the noun itself is the same as the um, uh, the stem. So we could actually filter out situations where the noun and the stem are the same. So um, so let's say if word does not equal the stem. Oops, come on. The stemmed word, then we print that out. Okay, what does a donor do? It dons. A horsepower, horse pows. A free fall, free fouls. A threesome, three psalms. Uh, an advertiser adverts, etc. Um, that's actually kind of cool. All right, so we're getting we're getting somewhere here. Uh, let's see. Pulling up the Rita docs as fast as I could, but now I want to know how you do that. Scoped Vim search and replace. Uh, the scoped Vim search and replace is I hit. V for visual, and then I just sort of get the section that I want. I hit uh, colon, which puts this funny little thing here, which I could have just typed by myself, but it does it automatically. That basically just means do the following thing inside this visual selection. Um, and then I just do it like a regular visual selection. I do S slash, and I can change console to sadness. Uh, and now console and sadness have been swapped, but only in here. You can see console is the same as ever. 
up there. Uh, anyway, I'll undo that because we don't want to log our sadness. Um, and in fact, I'm going to I'm going to comment that out right now just because I like to look at. Okay, all right. So this is this is kind of fun. This is sort of interesting. All right. So we're 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 out of place uh, right there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Vinny Vidi Vici bot. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is like a like a lol match. <laughs> Nice. Um, okay, so we're we've got all of these fun, uh, you know, statements, <laughs> trombones. Um, so we could we could run with this. We could start writing a poem like the polarity Pauls as the sobriety surprise, right? Like, let's do that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, console.log the word uh, conjugated oops conjugated word while uh, and then we'll need we'll actually want to get um, two random words here so we can get both of them in there um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be lazy here and I'm just gonna <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. Uh, just ta-da! <laughs> um, while the word two conjugated word two and a period. Okay, so now this is more of like a poem. The accreditation accredits while the headache... Oops, accredits. That's not what we want. Um, or maybe it is what we want. Hold on. Uh, stemmed word two, word two. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's, let's, let's get this the way that we initially wanted. The chastity chasts while the institute institutes. But let's, let's flip them around. That was kind of funny. The bidding shorts while the shortage bids. The countryside imports while the importer country sids. The engineer timbers while the timber engines. The ruthlessness whitewashes while the whitewash ruthlesses. Nice. I, I actually actually really like this. This is kind of cool. The quelling comrades while the comrade quells. The frigate onsts while the onstage frigs. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. What did I say about, um, uh, you know, uh, sort of obscene language. Uh, it'll definitely, it's sort of like the Murphy's Law of text generation. It'll always end up happening, especially when you're live streaming. Um, so, um, uh, I actually really like that. That's cool. I had no idea that we were going to do something like this. This is just the result of finding some functions that looked cool and then introducing some... What we did was we, we found some functions that looked cool, we started spewing noise into those functions, um, and then we started observing their behavior. Um, in fact, let me, I'll pull up this thing because I was, I was prepared for this part. Um, so um, uh, I'm going to start drawing because why not? Um, this, this sort of goes into this um, stream-based theory of text generation where that, that I like to work with, where um, uh, uh, something that you can do in, in um, audio synthesis is you can start with a source of white noise, so like uh, just a big noisy waveform like this, and you can put it through a filter uh, so this is this is frequency. If you're familiar with this sort of thing, um, so this is this is frequency. You put it through a filter like this. This is a high pass filter, um, and then you can put it through, uh, or actually, instead of a high pass filter, you might put it through a um, uh, a notch filter. So let's make that a notch, um, and then uh, what comes out the other end is you get like this, uh, it's more like this, it's more of a, a smooth tone waveform. Similarly, we're just taking a bunch of junk words and we're putting it through some kind of arbitrary filter of our own and then it's coming out the other end uh, transformed into something less junky. This is not the best uh, description of this thing that I could possibly give, but um, uh, it, it, this sort of speaks to that sort of thing, and this is one of the modes of composition that I like to use. Um, 
and so again, uh, we'll just look back here in in the file. Um, we again just want to make this ter perfectly clear. We we found a function we liked, which was the stemming thing. We started spewing words into it. Uh, then we ran it through a couple other functions like conjugate. Um, and then we started messing with it. We started saying, let's feed it nouns, even though it accepts, expects verbs. Uh, and then we ended up with these interesting linguistic uh, constructs. And then I had that bug where it was um, not pairing them up correctly. And I thought that was more interesting than pairing them up correctly. So now we have this, um, this weird uh, poetic form here. Um, so uh, let, let's, let's uh, uh, it looks like I might have some more questions here. Yeah, I said frigs. <laughs> um, let's turn this into, maybe we can just turn this into a poem, right? We can, we can generate, well, so the problem is Rita can generate rhymes, but it's hard to, um, like given a bunch of strings, I'd have to write something that would like look at all of this stuff and find words that rhyme with each other, which turns into this like set theory problem, which becomes computationally a little bit difficult. I mean, it might be easy to do, but just it's just got one of those hard flags, like it's just this this big red flag going off saying it's hard, it's hard. So maybe we won't um, bother. Oh, let's um let's. Well, no, let's not do that. Let's take a look at some other uh, functions here. Um, what else do we have here? We have, uh, that's the string analysis grammar. Let's go back to lexicon. Lexicon's nice. So we can tell if something is an adjective or an adverb or that sort of thing. Um, we can tell if one word contains another. What is alliterations? That's tantalizingly named. Finds alliterations by comparing phonemes of the input string to those of each word in the lexicon. Oh, okay. So what if we only um, picked um, uh, what if we picked alliterations? Uh, so what I'm guessing is going to happen here is if I do lexicon alliterations and then um, a word, it'll give me back a list of words that are alliterative with it. So let's 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 see what happens there. So we're going to take um, I'm just going to print out, um, so uh, lexicon dot alliterations forward. Um, I think that's all we want. Let's see what happens. Whoa, OK. So we're learning that there's a lot of alliterations for, wait, what, what is even going on here? Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. That's that's interesting. Let, let's try this again. I'm I'm so lazy. I'm just gonna try and like catch this while I can still see some of the while it hasn't gone too far. Uh, let's see. All right. This must have been a ph word. Maybe that's very very strange. Okay. Um, Oh, let's do. Um, we'll just pick one. I'll just we'll just pick one alliteration. There we go. Parent par pars pleasantly. Genus gen gens jaunts. Harness har hars hubby. Gluten glut gluts. Antagonism. Okay, great. Um, it seems like it's mostly alliterative. Um, so what if we? Um, how about we make the second word an alliteration of the first word? So we're going to just make this uh, lexicon dot alliterations word dot pick, and then uh, we'll go back here. Uh, yep, that should be right. Okay, let's see what this does. Aha, uh -huh. all right. The feeder furies while the furious are fees. The biotechnology books while the booker biotechnologues. The lime revolts while the revolts limbs. The consternation partics while the particulate consterns. The entropy lambs while the lament. Well, the heaves hemorrhoids while the hemorrhoids heaves. Um, I mean, this is kind of cool. I even like the fact that it's not always strict alliteration. Um, this seems more poetic than what we had before. At least the language is more interesting. I'm going to check on here. Nope, no more questions there. Um, 
got a little bit of that great Google Hangouts uh, recursion going. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so we just added some alliteration. That's kind of cool. Uh, what next? Let's see. I'm going to just close tabs to the right here. Um, similar by letter, similar by sound, similar by letter and sound. What does that mean? Compares the characters of the input string using a min edit distance algorithm to the word in each in the lexicon, returning the set of closest matches. I wish they had more examples in here. And by the way, I'm being a brat when I say that because this is an open source project. I can I can and actually have contributed to the documentation here. So what I really ought to be doing is taking notes and saying, you know, what I would like to have in the documentation here and then actually adding it to the documentation and doing a pull request to Rita and then it'll be a better project for everyone. And then next time I come back here, there will be an example and I'll say, ah, Thank you, past Darius, for doing that. Um, all right, I don't particularly care about any of this, so we will move on. Um, ooh, super strings. That sounds fun. Returns all valid super strings of the input word in the lexicon. Oh my God, that's really cool. So if you if you do um, uh, credit, if you did if you put in super strings credit, you would presumably get accreditation. Uh, for example. Uh, let's see what happens there. Um, let's make it, yeah, let's make, uh, let's make this a super string instead of a, um, an alliteration. See what happens there. Whoa. Uh, I guess sometimes there's not super strings. Maybe it's not. Let's see what that output actually is. Oh, okay. The assumption assumes while the assumptions assumes the umbrella umbrellas while the umbrellas umbrellas. Oh yeah, a lot of these are just going to be adding um, uh, like um, uh, making these, pl like pluralizing these words and that's not very fun. Uh, so that's maybe not what we want but it was interesting to try. Plus it was throwing errors so let's just stay away from that. Um, let's see, random word lexical data allows one to get set the raw dictionary data. Oh, okay. All right. That's, we don't want to mess with the dictionary right now. I don't think, uh, add word, we'll add a word to the lexicon, clear, we'll clear the whole thing out, is rhyme. This will just tell us if two words rhyme. Hmm. Interesting. Um, what if we determined? Oh, what if we only got rhyming alliterations? That would be kind of funny. Um, so let's let's do. So um, alliterations becomes, we're just going to get the list of alliterations here uh, for the first word. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, filter through the whole thing um, to only return alliterations that also rhyme, which I guess would probably just be the same. Well, let's find out, right? This is, that's, that's the fun part here. Um, so. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do underscore dot filter alliterations. Oops, uh, alliterations. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, rhymes equals, and then we're going to filter alliterations and this is a, a, a different word than that word. I'll make that a little clearer. We'll just call this alliteration singular. Um, and then we're just, we're only going to, we're going to filter for things where the alliteration itself is rhymes with the original word. So uh, returns uh, lexicon dot is rhyme word alliteration. So basically, if this returns true, then we keep it in the filter. Otherwise, we get rid of it. Um, and then, so, and we just, I just want to put a little note here. If rhymes.length is greater than zero, 
log. We found a rhyme. Let's put an exclamation, a couple exclamation points, because that's exciting. Um, and uh, we found at least one rhyme, uh, and then uh, word two becomes one of these rhymes. So we're going to go var word two. We're just going to initialize the variable up there. Uh, otherwise, we'll just pick a regular old um, alliteration. So we'll just pick any old alliterations dot pick. So we'll still get our old ones, but um, Oh, someone's telling me that my terminal isn't showing. Uh, let's see. Twitter notifications. Hmm. We've got web on screen share, but no terminal. Oh, no. Wait seems to be back. This is very strange. Um, well, hopefully... It's still working. I don't know what to do about that. Um, let's see. Oh, you know, I'm going to set this. I'm, I'm going to apologies for the. Uh, I'm going to try just screen sharing my terminal right now. Okay, this looks like it's actually working. So we're just going to go with the plain old terminal here, because uh, this is where most of the magic is happening right now anyway. Okay, so uh, for word two, we're going to go with alliterations.pick if we didn't find a rhyme. Uh, let's see if this even runs. Wow, it does. Oh, sort of. Okay, well, what's, what do we get here? The copy cruds while the crudes cops. We found at least one rhyme. The lover alligs while the alligator, alligator and lover, I guess, rhyme. Um, Segregation and suffocation rhyme. So the segregation suffix while the suffocation segregs. And then we get this bad stemmer thing. Basically, our stemmer doesn't like some of the words it's getting. Um, that's just too bad. Too bad for the stemmer. Um, that's probably... That might... That should be actually a... Well... I'm going to print out what happens before we stem the word. So we're going to console.log word here. Um, and we're going to console.log word two here as well, just to catch this before the error happens. Let's see if we can force that error again. Oh, of course, the error is not happening now. Anyway, we found the prayer despairs while the despair prays. The absenteeism bans. Here's another rhyme. Uh, the partnership parts while the partisanship partons. This is this is starting to get too too much of a uh, it's like a tongue twister here. The loader lucers while the lucrative loads. Um, okay, uh, it's kind of weird though. Um, but hey, it's working at least. Um, I'm going to take a look back. I'm, I'm not going to switch the display right now. Um, uh, I'm just going to look at this myself here. Uh, is there anything else I want to use from Rita right now? No. Um, let's do let's do something with, else with this, though. I, I want to wrap up around 7, so another 15 minutes. Um, so we're getting some kind of cool output here. You know, I don't actually like it with the um, the rhyming alliteration. Uh, let's just move back to plain old um, alliterations. I think I liked this better. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, now it's doing that again. That's okay. The precept preens while the preening preseus. The florist afternoons while the afternoons floors. Okay. Um, 
let's see. What do we do here now? This is where I wish I had like a live chat with y'all uh, because it is um, uh, joy, 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 joy getting feedback on this sort of thing. Uh, let me make sure that I'm not missing any comments from any of the different channels here. Um, people are saying people are saying things. That's good. They're just sort of general words of uh, of support, which is fine. Uh, nope. All right. Well, anyway. Um, so what else are we gonna do here? We've got this this thing happening again. We could try and get them into rhyming couplets, but I don't know about that. Um, uh, let's see. How about oh, let's let's do some let's do some fun Twitter stuff. So I'm gonna I have I've, I've cheated a little bit because I didn't want to live stream my credentials, um, and I'm just gonna move some uh, Twitter credentials into uh, this um, directory. So now we have this config.js file with with Twitter credentials in it. That's what this thing is right here. And uh, one of the things that I had built into my template is this uh, search function. It just searches Twitter for stuff, and it's a, and it's a deferred. Uh, so what I could do here is, um, uh, before we do any of this stuff, I could say search for um, uh, I'm in a Garfield mood. Let's search for I hate Mondays, right? Uh, and, I'll, and I'll put that in quotes so that we get that actual phrase. And then when that's done, we will and I'm going to be super lazy here. Actually, Thank you, JavaScript. What I'm actually going to do down here is instead of calling generate when we start, I'm going to do this search, and then I'm going to call generate after that's done. So I'm going to, I'm going to log the result of this I hate Mondays search. This, this should work, I think. I'm always in a Garfield mood. You know me. Yep, there we go. So there's a bunch of tweets I hate Mondays. This is the exact same thing that would happen if we went to search.twitter.com and searched for I hate Mondays. Uh, now, I hate Mondays is not a great phrase. So let's let's maybe search for something else. I don't know. Um, we have all of these um, we have all these while statements here. So maybe we want to look for people saying the word while. Uh, while is probably going to return way too much noise, but let's do that. Anyway, uh, while let's just search for the word while, what happens? Uh, someone come over tonight and smoke with me in my backyard while we look at the moon and stars. Life is kind of like the game Monopoly while everyone argues over what the rules are. The banker secretly steals all the money. Okay, so like that's the kind of the kind of stuff I would have recommended. Um, let's do one of my favorite old tricks and we'll just pivot on the word while. So we're gonna do this this generate. Here and we have these results as well. Um, so what? Let's actually do. Um, we're gonna pass. Let's pass our results uh, into generate here, um, and we'll go back up to generate, and we'll say tweets, and we'll pick a tweet. Var tweet equals tweets.pick. By the way, this .pick is not native JavaScript. This is actually uh, this little piece of code that I put up here. I use uh, JavaScript's prototypal inheritance. I add a, a function called pick, which looks at the array object in question and then does math.floor math.random times this dot length, accessing it you know, accessing one random element of the array. This pick remove thing does the same, except it deletes the item from the array in the process. Uh, so I just wanted to, um, you know, point that out. This is not a native JavaScript thing that I'm doing here with pick. Uh, it is a fun thing that I invented for myself. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to get a tweet. Um, and let's, um, let's take everything, um, let's take everything 
from the word while to some kind of a stop point. So we'll take, we'll just parse out everything from while to um, a period or to a question mark or to an exclamation point or basically just a non-word character. So we can use regular expressions to do that. Actually, what we're going to do here, I'm going to log um, all the results here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say result equals underscore dot map. I'm going to change the value of everything in result um, and uh, so the tweet and we're gonna do return um, we wanna we wanna get the um, all the text from the word while up until um, some kind of a stop character so we will do uh, return um, tweet dot match and uh, we're going we're gonna to put a regular expression in here uh, the regular expression will be while and then uh, some collection of um, uh, spaces uh, basically word characters right so we actually just want to go, we'll just go dot star until we get to a non-word character. Forgive me, this is regular expressions. This is like 10 years of accumulated knowledge for me. Like I don't have to like look this stuff up so much anymore. Um, this probably will crash and burn, but let's, let's, let's see what happens there. Um, uh, what happens when we look at that result? Uh, let's see, we get, um, oh, uh, while I'm talking to while on the treadmill, oh, that, that's going all the way, down. right, so we want to make this uh, a capture group, and we want to get uh, the first result, is that what we want to do? I, I never know this stuff, nope, nope, do, do, do. I'm sure everyone else who's here is like, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cheat, I'm going to do this in, well, it's not cheating, I'm just going to do it in the live terminal here, uh, and I'm going to say, uh, uh, you can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm just making, a, a, I'm putting together, you know what? I'm going to switch it over right now so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to stop. I'm going to share my browser window. Uh, and this is the JavaScript console here. And I'm just going to say tweet equals, I'm... I am doing this while someone is doing that. Here is another piece of text. So maybe that's a really bad tweet, but that's the tweet that we're working with here. Um, and then if we go tweet dot match uh, while, so if we just did while dot star, that would just get everything from while to the end of the string. If we did while dot star until a um, non-word character. Okay, it, it's still it ends in a non-word character. Um, let's see. What if we just did this? The, what we can do is the lazy way. We can just do uh, look for period question mark. Uh, hmm. Gosh. Well, that was kind of a hack. I don't want to do that. Um, While someone is doing that, here is not a piece of text. I bet people are probably popping in with, here's the regular expression you want now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nope, no one's, no one's popped in with an obnoxious uh, regular expression tip just yet. That's good. Uh, what I do in cases like this is I just go to a website like rubular.com and, uh, and I put in my... Uh, my text here. Do, 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 do. I think it's important to show these. Oops, that's these total failure states. Um, so that's while dot star, which we know. And now I have this quick reference down here. Um, 
so let's uh, let's uh, dot star and then oh oh um this is this is where you do that thing with the the, the question mark because it's a you know something about greedy operators something something I'm I'm such a bad computer science person um we're gonna look for a non-word character like that nope nope. Oh, that's matching the non-word character. Nope. Total failure. Let's see. Anyone pop in yet? <laughs> yeah, JavaScript's random number generator is, is really bad. Um, you know what? Let's just call this a success. Why not? Success is however we define it. Um, Okay. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Okay. Oh. I had to make that case insensitive uh, because Twitter's search is also case insensitive. Um, okay, so we're getting all these tweets now. Um, and we have, so that's okay. That's I mean, that's kind of what we wanted. Uh, now we're going to go back up here to uh, to this thing. So we're grabbing some tweet here. Uh, we don't need to actually print out all that stuff anymore. Um, so we're grabbing some tweet here. Uh, we know that it's the word while plus a bunch of other things. So what we're actually going to do, just just as a real hack down here, is we're going to say. Um, while tweet, except no while, because we already have the word while there. Let's just see what this does. The dominoes dumps while the dumpster dominoes. The dominoes dumps while doing it, but results don't. Or you do it in a way the result pleases you, but not while doing. That's kind of awesome. Um, we're only doing that one tweet here, though, so we're actually just going to do, we're going to take our tweets.pick and do it down here instead. And on top of that, we are going to, um, we're going to do tweets.pick remove to make it be um, unique, and we're going to do 10 of these. Nope. Let's try that again. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why pick remove. Oh, pick remove. OK, I guess. Um, the roadster requisites while the requisitioned roads. The roadster requisites while I'm smashing. She won't be the only one calling me Poppy. The proprietor uncrits while I'm on while the uncritically propri proprietes. The proprietor uncrits while everyone's up in pause about Cecil the Lion. Maybe we can also address what. Wow, that's kind of racist. All right. Ah, Twitter. Um, the ragtime soars while the sororities ragtims. The ragtime soars while you're with your girl. You got to start an argument so you can go answer it. All right, so we've done something here. It's kind of weird. Um, that's pretty much all that I promised people. Uh, so you know, I feel I feel pretty okay about that. Uh, let's uh, let's stop screen sharing so you don't get that um, recursive stuff going. Um, Anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much it. This was, oh, yeah, um, let's see, was that, yeah, okay, okay, Joel had the, uh, Joel had the regular expressions, he's, he's the regular expression king, Joel McCoy, everyone, king of regular expressions, thank you very much, Joel, what would I do without you? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I hope this was, uh, interesting, 
to view. Uh, it seems like I kept about 14 of you for the whole hour, so that's good. Um, this will be recorded, uh, or it has been recorded. Uh, the recording is going to go up on YouTube after I'll tweet out the links and all that, so you can send it to people if you want to see. You know, this is what I waste all my time doing, Grandma, Grandpa, uh, with with this whole coding thing. Um, and yeah, we made something kind of weird. I'll I'll probably uh, paste the output in the um, uh, like in with the YouTube link and stuff too. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for listening to me ramble for an hour and uh, watching me code. Uh, I thought it was fun. Uh, hopefully you did too. Thanks a bunch.